Hi everyone, welcome to Wondershare Recover It, which is a fully fledged piece of software that you can use to recover different types of deleted files on your system. And we're back with another video, and today we'll be taking a look at how to resolve the NTOS kernel high disk usage error in Windows 10. This is a common blue screen of death error that users can encounter due to a wide variety of reasons. But just before we get into that, why not press the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any future updates. Before we discuss how to fix NTOS kernel errors, let's just take a moment to understand what the particular error means and why it occurs in the first place. NTOS kernel.exe is a system file and it's responsible for managing complex processes, such as memory virtualization and memory management. It will load system processes into your primary memory and then execute them to ensure that applications deliver a seamless user experience. Now, due to its importance, the NTOS kernel exe is a very highly protected system file, which means failures of it are very rare. But due to external factors such as a virus or malware, outdated device drivers, or incompatible hardware configurations, the NTOS kernel file may stop working and cause your system to run into a blue screen of death. Fortunately though, the good news is that the NTOS kernel exe in Windows 10 is fairly easy to troubleshoot without having to spend thousands of dollars at a service center. All you have to do is try the following solutions and they should get the job done. Now, one of the most common reasons behind the NTOS kernel high disk usage error is outdated device drivers. So the thing to do would be to ensure that all of these are up to date. So press your Windows and X key simultaneously and then select device manager from the list. Now, right click on each driver individually and tap on the update drivers button. Then simply follow the on-screen instructions to update the device drivers to the latest available versions. Next, disabling the Windows search engine service can potentially fix the NT kernel and high CPU usage in Windows 10. To do this, again, press the Windows and X key simultaneously, but this time click on computer management. Now expand the services and applications tab and then click on the services option. Now a list of all running services will appear on your screen. Look for the one that says Windows search. Then select this service and click the stop button in the top left corner to terminate the process. Now another way to resolve the NT kernel error is to look for incompatible applications on your system. Sometimes the error gets triggered due to a third party application that's been recently installed on your computer. So in case you've started seeing the blue screen error after installing an application, then simply try uninstalling it and this should instantly resolve the problem. Now, if your situation is still the same after this, you can also use the command prompt to fix different issues regarding NT kernels. Start by typing CMD in the Cortana search box and then launch the command prompt as administrator. Then type the following command in the CMD window and press enter. Now we'll leave the command in the description down below so you can just copy it from there without any hassle. The command being DISM forward slash online forward slash cleanup dash image forward slash restore health. Now if executing this command doesn't resolve the error, then we're starting to head into the trickier solutions. Next, we'd recommend running the Windows Performance Toolkit. This is a built-in Windows utility that you can run via the command prompt to diagnose different system-related problems. Again, launch the command prompt as administrator. Now type the following rather long command. xperf-on-latency-stackwalk-profile-buffersize-1024 dash max file 256 dash file mode circular then two and symbols time out dash one two more and symbols xperf dash d cpu usage dot etl and then press enter now this command will probably take a minute to fully complete but at the end of it 
a log will automatically get saved into your C drive Windows System32 folder. Now with the help of this log file, you'll be able to decide what's actually triggering the error. Even if this isn't fixing the problem, then the next method would be to disable the runtime broker on your system. This will allow you to prevent unexpected memory leaks on your device and should avoid the NT kernel error. Click the start button and then tap the settings icon. Then in the settings window, click on the system option and then select notifications and actions. Then uncheck the option, get tips, tricks and suggestions as you use. Now close the settings window and then check if you're still seeing the NT kernel error or not. If none of these previously mentioned methods are working, then your only other solution would be to scan your system for viruses and malware. To do this, you can use any antivirus program. Even Windows Defender, which is built into your computer, will do the job. Simply launch your application, tap on the Scan Now button to initiate the scanning process. And then in case there are any viruses or malware present on your system, the software should recognize this and ask if you want to delete it. Make sure you do. And that's everything you need to know about how to fix the high CPU or disk usage NTOS kernel.exe error on a Windows system. Though this blue screen error may seem a bit intimidating at first, it is worth noting that you can troubleshoot it all by yourself. All you have to do is diagnose a problem and implement the right solution accordingly. So drop a like and leave a comment below if this video has helped you resolve the blue screen error on your system. And to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to tap the subscribe button.